Hey, so this is the foundation wall part. So this is where we see all the walls going up. And they also poured uh, the footing on the inside of the foundation. So the uh, garage is coming along. Uh, they uh, poured this interior footing here today. Oh my God, this guy's boring. So when I was making these videos, um, I had never really been on camera before. And so, uh, man, I just look completely sedate, like I'm about to fall asleep. So <clears throat> I'm going to do some voiceovers for some of this part. Uh, so you guys don't fall asleep. Uh, totally exciting. And I can finally see the garage taking shape, which is really exciting. So, yeah. Can't you tell how excited I am? Oh my goodness. So, sorry for the poor camera shot here. The, uh, the sun was shining directly through the window onto my camera, which is why you can't really see it. But as the sun comes up, the uh, picture will actually clear up. So, just hang in there for a second. So, this was the second day. They came, they stripped all the forms off of the footings that they poured the day before, and they immediately started building the footing forms for the middle wall. So the middle wall basically holds in a bunch of dirt so that I can then pour a concrete floor on my driveway level of the foundation because I wanted to be able to drive vehicles in to the top of the garage. Now <clears throat> you'll see here they've got all their wood stacked in the middle and then they just start ripping through that middle foundation and the other half of the crew starts setting up the actual wall forms around the outside. So you can see, it's really hard to tell from this angle, but basically they put a two by four on the outside edge of the top of each footing, and then they set their, and they nail that down, and then they set that, their forms on the inside of that two by four, and that basically holds the forms from blowing out on the bottom. As they erect the forms, they tie a two by four on the top, and then they tie a two by four brace back to the dirt, and they actually walk on just the width of a two by four all the way around the outside edge while they're pouring, which is actually pretty crazy, but obviously they've been doing it a lot. So um, <clears throat> here they're just about done the footing in the middle, which had some really crazy elevation changes, like lots of steps. Um, and then they, they pour that, uh, and then I stutter a lot and, and don't actually make any sense. Oh, so look, there's the concrete truck. He comes, he pours, he leaves. It cost me a lot of money. You know the drill. Um, so they clean the truck in the spot where I didn't want them to, which is awesome, and dump like a yard and a half of extra concrete all over the place. Um, and then they take a break, obviously, they're up there, you know. Uh, so then they start putting up the wall forms. Um, you can see on that lower section, oh, see, there's the 2 by 4 and the braces coming back right there at the top. Um, and then on the right-hand side, they're doing that braces back and the 2 by 4 up. And then they just go along and they throw up their wall forms. So concrete wall forms come in four foot sections, six foot sections, eight foot sections. I think they may actually have individual odd number increments as well. So five, seven, nine. Um, and while they were doing their footings, they were planning out each step depth so that they would have a level form at the top. You can see around the, the left hand side, their forms are level. So, um, well, there goes that point. Obviously, their corners only come in one size, so that's why that corner was higher. Um, but so this gives you a good view of that middle footing, um, and so the lower, the part to the right of that is the lower section of the garage. So that's where I can pull a bunch of stuff in from this ground level. Um, <clears throat> so this is the bracing showing the bracing. You can see the two by four they nail along the outside edge of the footing. Um, and then, bam, we're on to the next day. So the next day, they came back, and the plan was to just finish all the wall forms, which they ended up doing, um, which is great. So here, they're basically just filling in the forms that they needed to fill in for the wall. I don't have a lot to say about this, so you can hear me struggling to tell you what's going on. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't actually here this day. And I came home and everything was done. Man, that is the nicest way to build your own garage, let me tell you. Um, so yeah, I came home and this is what I saw. Um, most of the forms were level at the top, but obviously they didn't have enough to do all of them level. So um, for the poor day, 
I think they spray the inside with a release agent, and I think they may have done that this day, this time as well. Um, but yeah, the basic process for the forming forming is those rods there's rods on the outside of these forms you can see a bunch of them here um, those go through metal hooks and the metal hooks span the form and go out on the other side and there's a metal rod over there that way they can pull out the rod and take off the form so that actually keeps the forms together laterally so that they don't so when the concrete goes in they don't actually bulge out so um, it looks to me like they're about every 16 inches on the way up, um, and that keeps the forms rock solid. So check out the next video. They're actually going to be pouring these things. Mm -hmm.